everyone, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Adobe has released its new CC 2015 update and along with it are new ways and quicker ways to export assets and also entire layers very quickly. So I'm gonna switch over to the desktop and show you exactly how to use these new features. So as we can see here, we have a fictional mobile app UI mockup. Let's assume we're finished with this design and we need to export the assets and send them off to the developer. Traditionally, I would have to select each layer individually, hit Control or Command A, Control or Command C, and open up a new document and paste them in, and then go to File, Save for Web. And well, fortunately, now it's a lot easier with CC 2015. You can now export layers automatically. So let's say we want to export these three assets, which consist of an on and off state of a toggle button and a logo. All we have to do is select all the layers, and right click and either specify quick export as PNG or export as. So let's look at each one individually. If we specify quick export as PNG, all it allows us to do is to specify the location in which we want the files to export. So I'll just choose desktop and hit OK. So they're showing up off screen, but I can double click them and we can see they are all there ready to go. Now, if we do the other option, we can right click and choose export as, and this gives us more specific controls in terms of each layer. So we could specify the format, the quality, the scale, etc. And hit export, and all you have to do is specify where you want to save it, and you're good to go. Now, another advantage here, let's say, for example, we're working with a document that has the new artboard feature. And we have two artboards right here for these fictional banners. So what we can do is go to File, Export, Export As, and we could see that the artboards themselves as well get specified on their own document and will be saved as such. All right, so that is basically an overview of the new export options here in Photoshop CC 2015. Please subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet and check out designcourse.com for live one-on-one -on -one training and premium video courses. All right, I'll see you next time.